I found seven high paying tech related remote jobs and you don't have to worry about having a degree or previous experience hmm. because all of these you can land without that. So the first one on the list is going to be one of my absolute favorites and that is tech sales and specifically the career you'd be trying to go for at the beginning is going to be business development representative also known as sales development representative now typically these are referred to as bdr or sdr and basically what you'd be doing in these roles is prospecting or reaching out to other businesses that need the service of the business that you are working for now the average person in tech sales makes about hundred and thirty one thousand dollars a year but as a bdr or sdr you'll probably start off between 60 and eighty thousand. and in this position you're to need strong communication skills, persuasion skills, and also a solid grasp of the technology that you're selling itself. And this is one of those roles where a lot of companies are willing to hire and train you without a college degree or previous experience. So this is one where I've interviewed a ton of people who have been able to get into it. It's a great career, lots of opportunity. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another phenomenal career, and that is software QA engineer. And QA stands for quality assurance. And Basically, what you're going to be doing here is very similar to what an editor would do for a writer. So if the writer was a software developer or a software engineer, software QA would be like an editor. You are going to be looking through the software developer's code and you're going to be searching for glitches and also just making sure that the code is put in such a way where if you do things in the future, it's not going to mess everything up. And this is a big problem that Twitter had, for instance, where they made their software code so convoluted and so complicated that it was very difficult to even change anything or understand how the whole system works. So this becomes more and more important as you scale a company and you make their offering more complicated. This is kind of like building the foundations for a skyscraper. If you don't have good foundations, you might be able to get to, you know, four or five floors. But once you get up to 10, 20, 30, 40 floors, you need to make sure that the foundations are incredibly solid. And software QA engineers make about $106,000 a year. So basically in this position, you want to be very detail oriented and you wanna have precision, patience, and a Sherlock Holmes type of ability to find and solve problems. Now, a great way to get started here is to dive into a program like Careerist that will teach you everything you need to know to land that first entry level job. And this job is definitely a route worth taking. And if you're considering this, I've actually partnered with Careerist where they actually offer online live courses to get you started with jobs just like this one. And according to coursereport.com, Careerist is one of the best boot camps in the United States. And Careerist graduates are already working in 1,000 plus companies across the U.S. They're in companies in 40 different states and the salaries usually vary between sixty-five dollars to $100,000 a year based on the courses that they take with Careerist. And these courses are manual QA, sales engineering, UX design, systems engineering, and data analytics. Now, what sets Careerist apart is it actually caters to individuals that have no prior tech experience. And they provide comprehensive training that will equip you with all the skills necessary to secure a high paying job in the technology industry. Careerist also provides a supportive learning environment for your technology career journey. You will attend live classes, internships to practice your skills, receive personalized guidance from career coaches, and receive support at every stage of the program until you achieve your goals. On average, careerist graduates find a job in tech within two to four months if they follow the provided job search instructions, and the average starting salary for a careerist graduate is $68,000. So careerist is awesome, and if you follow the link down in the description below, you'll get a 10% discount on whichever course you choose. So thanks again to careerist for sponsoring this video, and for this particular career, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is going to be web developer. And this is a career that's been around for a very long time. And it's one of the most basic forms of software development. And it's basically software development for websites. So you're going to be responsible for designing and developing websites that people use every day. And you're going to focus mostly on the front end of the website, which is what people see. And web developers make about $81,000 a year. Now, this used to be one of the easiest jobs to land 10 years ago, even five years ago, it was pretty easy, but it has gotten saturated and it has gotten harder to land a job. It used to be that 10 years ago, you could basically just have a pulse and land a job very easily. Now you actually have to know what you're doing and you want to be up to date on the latest frameworks as well as programming languages. So overall, this is still a really good one, but you do actually have to know your stuff here. And for that reason, I'm going to give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next on the list, we're going to talk about a full stack developer. And this is somebody who understands the front end, AKA what people see, 
on a website or a piece of software, but they also understand the back end, and that's what people don't see, and that's typically more complicated. But the truth is, there is a ton of interaction between the front end and the back end, so having a more holistic view on this is going to help you not only when it comes to helping your company, but also making more money. And that's why full stack developers make $97,000 a year. Now, again, this is one just like every other one on this list that you do not need a college degree or previous experience in order to land in these entry level jobs. But with that being said, you are going to have to know your stuff. So if you can learn that online completely free on YouTube, that's great. Many people decide to purchase courses or training programs online to help them out. And also networking is going to help you out tremendously when it comes to landing a job. But overall, this one is still amazing. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one that in my opinion is incredibly hot right now. And that is data analyst. Now we've all seen the stories. Data is now more valuable than oil or gold. And there is a reason for that because companies can make decisions based on that data that makes them much, much more money. And basically what you're going to be doing as a data analyst is you're going to be analyzing a bunch of data and extracting meaningful insights from that data and then communicating that to a lay person, AKA someone who is going to be making business decisions. And the concept of data analysis actually dates back hundreds of years. As early mathematicians and statisticians, which is a word that's really hard to say, began laying the foundations for modern analytical techniques. And as a data analyst, you can expect a rewarding salary of $80,000 a year. And keep in mind, this is basically the entry level job. You can make a lot more than that once you go up the salary chain. Now, this is another one where you absolutely do have to have the skills. So you might be learning languages such as SQL or R. You might also learn some basic Python programming. And of course, you're going to have to be very, very familiar with Excel. Now, this is another one where you do not need a college degree in order to land an entry level career. Many people choose to get a college degree in something like statistics because it does help out, but you don't need it. Many others choose to go to boot camps, such as careerist, for instance, and many others choose to just simply teach themselves, which probably is going to take longer, but it's going to be more more affordable. So overall, this one is a little bit harder to get into without a college degree. But with that being said, it's still a fantastic one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is probably the number one job. If you're trying to get a remote job, travel the world, get paid really well, have incredible benefits and all those things that you would want. And that is going to be a software engineer. Now, the difference between software developer and software engineer is highly debated. Many times it's literally just a title, but generally speaking, software engineer engineers are going to have a deeper understanding of what's going on when it comes to the code. So it's almost like a software developer is someone who's building a house and they don't really understand architecture, whereas a software engineer might also be building the house, but they do have a pretty solid grasp of architecture as well. And that's why when you look up software engineer on Glassdoor, they make $139,000 a year. So this is another one where you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience, but you do have to know your stuff. So whether you self-teach, you get a college degree, you go through through boot camp, whatever way you end up learning this, you're probably going to have to build a portfolio to prove that you know what you're talking about. And networking helps tremendously as well. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And next we have a cybersecurity engineer. So cybersecurity is another one that is incredibly hot right now. And everyone is kind of focusing on software engineer, software developer, and they're sort of sleeping on cybersecurity data analyst, uh, different cloud related careers, etc. Now with cybersecurity, I will say that you probably do want to start off in something else, such as a lower level cybersecurity job, or maybe an IT job. That is the most common career path for most people. So a lot of people, for instance, will start off at IT help desk, they'll move into a higher level IT job, and then they'll transition into cybersecurity. And basically, this is exactly what it sounds like you're going to be protecting data of different software as well as websites. And this is incredibly important, because if your data gets leaked, if it gets hacked, that can be terrible for your customers, as well as your company. And this is why cybersecurity engineers make $131,000 a year. So overall, because it's a little bit harder to break into, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. So if you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and check out my remote job tier list by clicking right here.